Welcome, guys. It's the Dragon Ball Z announcer here. And today on Flood 114 channel, we have a very special episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's play Yu-Gi-Oh! The Duels of the Roses. Last time on Dragon Ball Z. It was the 4th of July, and America achieved their independence. But before that, we jump back in time. In time. In time. In time to Let's Play. And now we have the Dark Magician and the Blue-Eyes White Dragon. That's right. As you may remember, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duels of the Roses is a special uh, spin-off uh, game of Yu-Gi-Oh! Which involves two houses of uh, uh, Lancastrians, uh, the Tudors, and the Yorkists. So now, let's travel back to ancient Egyptian England. Bandikai! Konjiki! Ashizoki Jizo! Now, Shadow Clone Jutsu! For now, the king of the Tudors, Henry Tudor, will have a special message for America. Now, on Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> How's that for an epic intro, guys? <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> special 4th of July episode of Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! The Duelist of the Roses and... Okay, you guys should be looking good there. We're gonna start a new game. We're actually not gonna save it, but basically this is just gonna be a video for fun. So this is what Yugi has to say to you guys. But uh, you know, yeah. So I, I now present the speech from the king of the two doors, Prince Yugi. And we're just gonna speed through the opening here. But now, now we go to Yugi who is just on the screen for a special message to all of America. Yugi, uh, Henry Tudor, I mean, let your voice be heard now. Henry Tudor. Sorry, let's rewind that just a little bit. all knew that America, you guys cheated. Okay, like you understand what I'm saying? You guys didn't actually win, you know. If we wanted to send the entire armada, we could have sent the entire armada, and you wouldn't even have an independence. We had mercy on you. Mercy, mercy, I say. You see, you're weak. You were weak. You were fledglings. You know what a fledgling is? It means you were, you were, you were basically like, okay, in the game of chess. There's the kings, the queens, and the pawns. And guess what America, quote unquote, America was at the time. You guys were, I would say you're about the level of a horseman, okay? You weren't complete throwaway pawns, but you could move two spaces to the right and one space up. However, uh, we, the monarchy, were kings and queens oh, and hang rooks. Hang on, hang on. And rooks and queens are the most powerful of all the chess pieces. <laughs> You twits got lucky, okay? We had one or two or three or four. Okay, technically we had two. So, fun fact, I actually recorded battles, this clip like uh, last night. Okay? <laughs> if, we, if we would have seen let, the let me, let me be quiet, let me be quiet. I'll replay the message the start, uh, for you guys, because I know uh, at first I was kind of away from the mic, like but yeah. Like a crush soda, and you and I okay. knew it. We had mercy on you. A lot of people think America won their independence, you know, through bravery and George Washington and ya 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 ya. No. We had mercy on you. We let you in for free. We didn't even try to see the entire army. Well, because we had other problems going on with France next door. And that would have been... And, and honestly, uh, believe it or not, a suicide like, for that, like that's, Hello, that's uh, how's yeah, believe it or not, that's kind it. of what this game is about. It's about the War of the Roses is kind of a precursor to the uh, the Hundred Years War in, in a strange way. So, yeah, I didn't even mean to do that. But, yeah, that's kind of what I was talking about here. You know, you know, there was always there was a lot of turmoil going on in Europe from... Now, really about the end of the plague until, well, basically until about the end of World War II. And technically, you could say 
you know, the Cold War isn't over. But anyway, but yeah, basically until 19, you know, the end of World War II, a lot of turmoil in Europe. There always has been. So, and, you know, uh, the War of the Roses is just part of that, you know, and so is uh, the Hundred Years' War, which came after. But anyway. Had we sent the entire English Armada, yes, we could have won America, but... France would have just came in from next door and run us over easily. Now, yes, we would have owned all of America, but at the time, you have to understand, America was unexplored. In the end, it's it's easy to say we made the right decision, and we did, because who at that time, America was fu fully unexplored. So it could have been huge, it could have been tiny, but the point of any good monarchy is to defend your own kingdom first and take care of the trash second. <laughs> and that's what you are, America. Trash. You are a trash nation. And you have been ever since you left the monarchy. And that is all. King Henry Tudor out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, long story short, I recorded that clip. That's about like a three, three or so minute clip. <laughs> but like, I recorded. I thought of that clip like, and that was basically all freestyle. I, I thought of that clip last night. <laughs> so you know, around midnight. You know, I, you know, I was semi drunk too. So you know, but I'm surprised I didn't slur. I didn't really. Yeah, that was a clean clip. And like, when I woke up this morning, <laughs> it turns out I had sent it to a, uh, 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 you know, about like twenty people. So. But I found it funny. I found it funny, and I was just like, you know what would be a good idea? Let's do a special episode today, you know, in honor of uh, 4th of July. And I'll just kind of play that clip. <laughs> but uh, I'm actually going to play it again when Yugi's on the screen a lot here. So, yeah, I'm going to play the clip. Long story short, this episode's basically over. We're not actually going to do any duels this episode. I will do as many duels as I can. I don't have too much free time, because today is July 4th, and... I you know, our family, we got stuff going on. We got stuff going on, long story short. But uh, you think you think the Honorable America would even listen to your ridiculous proposal? I am Mayori Kuratsuchi, a.k.a. Slight Simon McMoran. Can you be so sure, old man? Let's see. Simon so signed it. cards. What am I saying? Blah, blah, blah. White card. White, right. White rose card. Blah, blah, blah. You can sign with either of us. Blah, 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 blah. Card game. Blah. It's better position, who's in your uh, America. He he not those words and his bawangling lunatic. <laughs> Simon, must you resort to name calling? I am wealthy. I mean her. I'll tell you what. Why don't we leave the decision to our dear money? I mean duelist. After all, Simon, the duelist future's not for us to decide now, is it? Well, yes, but. Very well, Duelist. In keeping w with the tradition of the old temple gardens of America, I offer you a choice, America. The two roses represent me, the white for me, and the red for old Simon here. For the sake of justice and Bankai, choose the red rose. <laughs> Stand by my side, Duelist. Choose the white rose. All right, and we'll just side with the Lancastrians, because obviously Yugi will be on screen quicker. Quicker. How disappointing. Mokuba, get my blue eyes white dragon chariot. Your chariot, big bro? That's right. We're still in ancient Egyptian England, and we have chariots now. Don't you mean cavalry, big bro? Get my knight, get my crusaders out here now. Okay, big bro, I'll get your crusader from the Roman Empire. That doesn't even make sense, Mokuba. Shut up, Mokuba. Oh, and by the way, I'll guarantee your safe passage until you met with Yugi, America. Until then, screw the rules, I have no money. And after all, I wouldn't want our little game to end too quickly. <laughs> Before you could face the torments of Obelisk. <laughs> Say goodbye to the side points, Wheeler. All right, and now that that's done, Yugi should be on screen here pretty soon. So I'm going to end the episode here, and in the next episode, we will hear from the Prime Minister of England, Henry Tudor. Thank you guys for watching, and stay tuned for the encore of the speech from Henry Tudor. But seriously, I hope you guys all, this is just a video for fun. And I hope you guys all have a good day. This is fun to record. 
it's, it's honestly just, it's kind of like, yeah, it's just fun. And next, after I play the speech, you know, we'll try to kind of speed run the campaign. Like I said, I doubt I'll be able to get all, all of the duels done today, but you know, I'll do as many as I can and then I gotta go. So, all right guys, see you guys.